Hello, 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 my divine masculines. How are we all doing out there? Today we're going to be doing, well, okay, let me just kind of back up. We're going to be doing your read today. I did do, well, normally I get these out on Fridays. And with things going on in my life, I had a video that didn't upload, so my schedule was messed up. And other things going on that just did not allow me to do this video. So, I attempted to do it on Sunday. I couldn't do it Saturday. So, I attempted to do it yesterday. And I did it. It was an hour-long video. And it did not upload. Apparently, my phone is too full of data. Which I need to uh, clean out uh, this evening to make sure um, I don't have this problem again. That's the only thing that sucks about doing this on my phone. Otherwise, it's okay. But anyways, I was so upset because I knew something was weird. It looked weird when I went to upload it. I went downstairs went about because it was an hour, so I thought it was going to take a while. Thinking maybe it was just my imagination. I was just paranoid and went downstairs, came back up, and yeah, it didn't process. So, here we are. So, if there are any Divine Feminines watching, um, you know, cross-watchers, so to speak, um, I just did your Divine feminine video and for the divine masculines who want to see it i just did the divine feminine video who was which was before this so uh they will be uploaded together about the same time okay provided this one ends up being uploaded um these are general readings so it may not resonate with everybody so take what resonates leave what doesn't it is the energies i'm doing it for the end of the month um, because I will be doing Zodiac readings for the month of May, I'm trying to do those, and I, so I'm just going to cover the energy for this particular reading. Um, I usually do them weekly, but I'm going to do it from today, I believe today's the 20th, through the 30th of 2020, okay? For those of you who do not know, this is Remy, my assistant, and a very important part of the Deep Soul Tarot tribe. And Remy is just here simply to remind you to subscribe and join the tribe. And Remy, and hit the bell icon for notifications. Woo! Thank you. <laughs> Good job, Remy. We have a little fun here at Deep Soul. That's how we roll here. You know, we have some serious work, but we have fun in between. All right, let me shuffle a couple of times here to find masculines. And let's see what's going on. Just so you know. Oh dear, I just munched my card there. Just so you know. I'm going to shuffle one more time. Just so you know that some of the energies from yesterday's read ended up coming through in the Divine Feminines. So, let's see what happens here for you, Divine Masculine. Okay? All right, you then. Here we go. And just as a side note, time is an illusion and energy is fluid. So, if you happen to be watching this past... Um, April 2020. It's okay. These are timeless. Um, it, it does not matter the date. Whenever you see it and click on it, it is when you are most likely guided to watch it. And if it ends up resonating, it's very likely that that was the message for you at that time. Okay? So I'm just saying. And these are not just about heterosexual connections. These can be about same-sex connections, twin flame soulmate connections, or soul connections. And if I refer to he or she in the cards, it has only to do with masculine or feminine energies. So it does not have to do with your particular gender. All right. We all have masculine and feminine energies within us. We usually resonate with one more than the other. So I'm assuming that whomever's watching this resonates more with divine masculine energy or you are watching about your divine masculine. But I'm just letting you know that if you're a female, you can you can identify more with masculine energy and vice versa. Okay. Strength. Strength. Let me see. Um I'm hearing that you've recently gone through something, Divine Masculines, that has caused you to really dig deep for some strength and courage in the situation. It's calling on you to be strong right now. Let's see what else we have. Ooh, Eight of Wands in reverse. Interesting, my cards aren't usually in reverse. So it's interesting that that card happens to be in reverse. Um, you're at a standstill right now. Upright, the Eight of Wands can mean communication, very fast movement, travel. I mean, it can literally mean moving or traveling to another place. But it's in reverse. It came up in reverse here. So. There's a lack of communication. 
and a lack of movement in whatever situation you are going through right now. Now, I don't know, Divine Masculines, if this has to do with your Divine Feminine or if you're in some sort of a karmic situation. We shall see as we move along. Six of Pentacles here. Yeah, there's a lot of... um. Mm, pensive energy on this, I'll say. Uh, the Six of Pentacles is very much about give and take. All of a sudden, I'm extremely itchy. I do not know why everything is itching. Um, I'm trying to trying to think if I ate anything that I shouldn't have this morning um, that I'm allergic to. Six of Pentacles. <sighs> Never mind, I'll be fine. <laughs> Just talking to myself here. Um, there's a lack of give and take in some situation. And I don't, again, I don't know if this has to do with, it's something that I feel that you're going through presently, though. But I don't know if that has to do with your twin, or I'm feeling very strongly it could be a karmic situation. Either a karmic relationship, or... There's not a whole lot of communication right now in this situation. There's a lack of give and take. If it has to do with your twin, one of you is doing more giving than the other. Because after that, we have the Four of Swords, which is about um, being alone with your thoughts, being almost meditating. I, I can't, I'm sorry, I have to put the card down. My arm is itching like insanity, and I can't even figure out why. Uh, sorry. Um... It's like you want, you're in an energy of you want to just curl up and be by yourself. It's a very heavy energy, Divine Masculine. And there's a heart here. So that leads me to believe that it could very well be a very emotional situation for you. Or a love situation. But it's like you're spending time alone. And you just want to curl up in your little nest and be by yourself. With your thoughts. It's kind of like taking a time out or a time to recharge. So, let's see what else we got going here. Judgment card with the High Priestess. And the Two of Cups. And underneath all of that, you have the Five and the Seven of Wands. Internal battles, some sort of battles going on here. Very passionate, too. And this could involve other people. And the Seven of Wands is very much about being um, defensive, feeling like you have to defend yourself. You see all the wands. The person is just trying to, in their own little bubble, trying to do their thing, trying to avoid other people. And people are coming at you with the wands. and um, And you're trying to just... Set some boundaries and say, listen, I just want to be alone. I just want to be alone. Leave me alone. That's what I'm hearing here. So something's going on that's causing you to feel that way, Divine Masculine. That you just, you just don't want to be around. I don't know if you just don't want to be around people or you, oh, I need these ones. Hold on, what am I doing? Um... Because you feel almost feel like, well, let me start with these, and then I'll go to that, because these were first. The Judgment card here. Um, it's You're doing some sort of um, kind of self-evaluation. You know how when you have a job, especially when you're new in a job, you... Um, you get these reviews. They check your progress within like a month. And then after that, it's like maybe two months or three months. And it's like that you do a check-in. And it's like you're doing your own review of your life right now. I mean, with judgment, it's... it's the, the judgment card is card number 20. And after that is the world card. So it's like you're at a point in your life where things are changing... And you're really reassessing at this point what you want to do, where you want to go. Uh, it's a turning point. And after that is the world card, which means the, the, 
the cycle has come full circle, but you're just not quite there yet. But what I'm hearing here is to really dig deep inside you and find the answer internally. The High Priestess is very much about intuition, you know, um, listening to your gut. The thing about the High Priestess, though, is the High Priestess is a very all-powerful, all-knowing energy, and she collaborates with, again, a feminine energy. She collaborates with the universe, and she knows everything. And she's very mysterious. So she's only going to reveal to you and divulge to you what she feels you should know when the time is right. And right now, I'm not hearing that the time is right. Because after that is the Two of Cups. And it's like, that's very much a twin flame card. So if you are by chance thinking of your twin flame, Divine Masculines, and if you feel a connection with your twin flame or you feel a pull towards your twin flame, the High Priestess is telling you you're not ready yet. You haven't done the work to quite move towards your twin flame. you still got battles and things to deal with. So the, tw the High Priestess will only reveal to you things that to you when she feels you're ready when you've learned the lessons or done the work and i think you're still in the process of, of that particular part of the journey to find masculines you're still doing some self-work and still having some lessons you you need to learn i don't think you've quite grasped them all yet but let's see what we have here two of pentacles yeah something's out of of balance okay some sort of you're trying to make a decision i do believe divine masculine I'm feeling very strongly that you're trying to figure out what direction in life you want to go. You are so, I think you are so very confused. Um, and let's see, coupled with that is the star, self-healing. Yeah, you, you really have a lot of self-healing to do right now, Divine Masculine. By doing that self-healing, though, okay, it's as if the universe is telling you that be with yourself and do the work that you need to do um, in order to heal. But don't lose sight of your dreams. Don't lose sight of that which you wish for. Because the, the star is the wish fulfillment card. So if you are really wanting to be with your twin your divine divine counterpart, your soulmate, your soul connection, the one you know that you're you're meant to be with, then you can still wish. You can still wish upon the star. This is the wish fulfillment card. But it's I'm telling you that you have to a choice to there's a choice that has to be made. This is almost like a pull between the divine the, the divine feminine, divine masculine and feminine energy. It's like your head saying one thing, your heart saying another. And it's a pull. And you're trying to decide, and it's so imbalanced that, you know, your head's telling you to do this, and you're not paying attention to what your heart really wants. What you emotionally, what will emotionally fulfill you. And then vice versa. You could be so caught in your emotions that it's clouding your judgment. You can't think straight. So you can't really make a decision. You know, one day you feel this way, the next day you feel that. And it's a constant a, a, a pull, push and pull type thing. And uh, the star is saying that this is a wish fulfillment card. You can wish, your wish can come true. But you have to do some self-healing first. And there's a lot of work, I think, that has to be done here. Eight of Swords. That you're caught in your head. Okay, well, that's that's letting us know. You're caught in your head. You're not paying attention to what your your heart wants. And I think Divine Masculine, I think you are involved in some sort of karmic situation that... You are thinking that you're stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in this situation now. Your thoughts are keeping you there. See how the person's looking in a mirror? They're not really bound. They just think they are. Self-assessment. That judgment card. It's an aha moment. All right? You can ask the universe to help you. There's no. There's nothing wrong with saying, you know what? I'm, I don't know what to do. I'm confused. I don't know what to do. Universe, spirit, can you please help me? Can you please give me some signs? What do I need to do? Help me see the way. Mm -hmm. Seven of Pentacles. 
the Seven of Pentacles is very much a card of trying to decide what you want to invest in. Um, it's like you've planted some seeds. Um, and now you're just waiting for that those seeds to blossom and and give you the fruits of your labor, if you will. Like you reap what you sow type thing. But the thing of these seven of pentacles is you can't just like plant one seed and expect a whole orchard of fruit, right? And you can't expect those trees to grow overnight. They're not going to grow overnight and they're not going to produce fruit overnight. This kind of stuff takes time. You first have to plant the seeds and work on that. You have to put it in... Um, um, uh, I can't even think of the word. You have to put it in the right soil. You know, uh, if you have the wrong soil, they're not going to grow. And you have to water that. You have to tend to it. You have to water it. And you have to, it has to have sun. And uh, there's a whole bunch of different things that need to happen before. You can even, you have to wait to build roots for the roots to grow and be embedded in the earth before it can even start to grow and then come out. And even when it's a small little plant like that, you do have to wait. You do have to wait. So basically what the message here is, Divine Masculine, is you need to start planting those seeds of getting your life together or in a way that is not imbalanced anymore, working on yourself. So when you nurture yourself and tend to your needs, your emotions, which would be the water, um, the sun, which to me would be like you see the light, it's the truth, and um, the right earth, the right, you have to have, you have to be grounded and have the right roots planted. So when you do, in order to come together into union with your twin, your twin, you have to be a person who is well-rooted and, you know, it's kind of like being an elm tree. Once the elm tree grows, those roots are very deep and they take, you know, usually elms are very, very old trees, but they're very sturdy, but it takes a long time for them to grow and it takes a while for them to become the beautiful elm tree that they're meant to be, you know, but they're strong in their own right, you know. I don't know if that, I mean, that makes any sense, but you have to work on yourself in order to have uh, that union with your person. And right now, again, you may be in some sort of karmic situation. There are lessons that need to be learned right now. You're going through something right now. The hanged man. Um, seeing that in a couple of ways. We are, when I'm recording this, we are going still through the lockdown pandemic, COVID-19 type thing. You may be watching this past that, which is fine. So there may be some other delays or whatever you're going through in your life. So with, we'll just touch on that for right now. With the hangman here, there's not a whole lot a person can do externally, so to speak. Internally, there's a lot of work that people can do. I think this is the perfect time to do it because you have the time. There are no, there are no external interruptions for the most part, at least for right now, work and, and whatever else. Um, You know, I'm just hearing with this particular card that you're just going to have to be with yourself each and every day. Just be. You can look toward the past and, and say, I should have done this, I should have done that, or I wish I would have done this. The past is the past. You learn from that. So it's not like that's wasted time. You know, there are lessons to be learned from that. Maybe you didn't learn them at the time, but now you can look back and say, well, now I get it. In retrospect, now I get, I see the message. I see the lesson I was supposed to learn. And you can implement that now in your future. In your present and your future. And you you don't want to look too far ahead because nobody knows what's going to happen in the future, right? So we have to make sure that we keep ourselves, again, balanced. Where we're in the here and now. We can only do what we can do right now. We can't change the past. We can't manipulate and, and control the future. We can only control ourselves and certain aspects of our life in the present. And that's it. And that's... That's a good realization right there, which is the hangman. You can only do what you can do right now. You are apathetic about this. I'm thinking that maybe you're just apathetic about doing anything at all. You're in such a state of mind that basically you just want to curl up in the nest. You don't even want to have to think about it. I don't want to have to think about it. I don't want to have to deal with it. 
but at some point you're going to have to divine masculine. Um, you know, you may be bored with your situation, um, but I'm hearing there's a lot of apathy here. I'm tired of having empty cups. Well, you know what, divine masculine? Fill your own cups. Nobody else can do that for you. You have the Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race. Divine Masculine. This is the Knight who has planted the seeds and is moving forward. I've planted the seeds. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to go about my business. I have my trusty horse to help me. And the Knight of Pentacles is basically a very, very slow moving energy. This is a time where things aren't, to, aren't supposed to move forward too fast. You know? Maybe you need to tend and nurture these seeds that you've sown. And then um, in the future, you can move forward from that. Interesting. More pentacles. Page of pentacles. The message here, Divine Masculine, is again trying to balance. You're standing on one foot. Trying to balance it all. Um, the Page of Pentacles is very much about... Again, learning a lesson. The page is a young energy, and from the page you go to the night. So you're in a phase of still having to learn some things and implementing them on your path towards your future, implementing those lessons so you can move forward to your future. But it is very slow. It's, it's taking some time. I'm hearing very specifically that this is a time for you to learn a lot about yourself right now. In order to move forward and be go from the knight and then to the queen to the king to mature, you there are lessons that have to be learned. And the, the Page of Pentacles is a very good student. So pay attention. Pay attention and do your homework. There's a lot to be learned about yourself right now. All right? Be careful of those internal battles, though, you know? Um... It's time to take care of those, you know. Underneath that is the King of Cups, some emotional maturity. Um, I just am hearing over and over that there are lessons. My cards will not stay. They're sliding all over the place. There are some lessons here that need to be to be learned. Um, they're important lessons. And it's, it's stuff that, that will tell you things about yourself. It's almost like... It's a time of maturing. It's almost like being going from adolescent... To your 20s you're still young there's still lessons things to be learned you're not totally mature but you're not a teenager anymore you've matured from that stage and you know what i mean so it's like each part of your life is a stage and i'm thinking that maybe there are some immature things that have happened in your recent past that you're now realizing that you know i'm a grown man or woman i'm a grown person and this isn't kid stuff anymore you know, I really have to, your 20s is still all about having fun, like maybe you're in college-ish, or whatever, and you're getting, you're first getting your new place, whatever, there are still things, maybe you're, you're meeting somebody, some people get married in their 20s, but, you know, and it depends, I mean, I don't know how old you are, your viewers out there, so maybe you are in your 20s, who knows, um, and if that's the case, so yeah, you can look back and say, I'm not that teenager, I'm not that 13-year-old that I used to be, I'm may, much, may, way more mature now, I've learned a lot since then, but you know what, each decade we learn, I mean, every, every year, every hour, every whatever, every day we learn things about life and ourselves, and, and as we get older and move forward, we learn more and more about ourselves, so it's, it's a pattern, I mean, a, not a pattern, it's a path, sorry, that a journey that we have to go through. And so Divine Masculine, look at it this way. This is a lesson, a lesson in life right now. A lesson in life that you have yet to learn, that you cannot, the cycle is not complete. You can wish for something, and that could come true, depending on how much work you put into it, and how much effort. Uh, it's not going to just come to you. But the Judgment card, you're almost there. You're almost there. It's about a self-realization and a rebirth. Once that happens... Then you can go on to the world. You've con it's almost like you've conquered the world. You've conquered something. And the cycle is complete. And now you can start a new, a new chapter. All right? I don't know if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. Uh, okay, Spirit, what messages do you have for our Divine Masculines? Well, there's one cat. There's your Page of Pentacles again. Twice. Right in a row. Page of Pentacles. Pretty much kind of the same. You know, really thinking about things 
really stopping, stopping for a second. This person's balancing on one leg, but you see how the um, the page is really deep in thought and thinking, okay, I want to know more about this. You know, um, and the, there's a peacock back here. The beauty of it all is there's so much growth that can be had by just stopping and thinking and trying to learn the lessons instead of pushing forward without really thinking about it. So again, the page, the pentacles is a very slow moving energy. And the page is about, um, well, it's about communication, but messages. There's a message here for you. I mean, you don't want to be so focused that you miss things around you. But you still want to kind of focus in on right now, especially. Mm, and there's the Eight of Wands. Now it's upright. This is your Eight of Wands in reverse. Interesting, interesting. Um, I'm just going to point this out right here with the Page of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. I can't get this. Hold on. I, I can't wait to do this. The way the angle is, I can only do it one at a time. So, um, the Page of Pentacles is thinking about and learning. And you had the Eight of Wands in reverse, where there was a lack of communication. The Page of Wands has now opened your eyes to see that there needs to be some sort of communication. And the only way for this to move forward is to communicate with someone, whether this is your karmic. I mean, it could be your twin. Underneath that is the King of Wands, which in the Tarot deck indicates the Divine Masculine. And the Divine, the King of Wands, Masculine, Divine Masculine, the King of Wands is very much, um, has thoughts in his head and wants to, to, to move forward with those thoughts, with those ideas, creatively coming up with things in his head. He likes to be able to do things, he's very much a free spirit. He likes to do things his way, um, in shadow work, he can, in, in a bad side of it, is he can be a manipulator. Um, but the King of Wands really knows what he wants. He's very powerful. There's some maturity there, again, with the Wands. Um, underneath that is the Ten of Wands. There's a burden that you're carrying right now, okay, that you need to really think about and figure out a way that you can move forward with whatever it is that you're going through. Let's see if we can get any other cards here, Divine Masculines. This is quite heavy. This is quite heavy energy. But I do see... There's the Ten of Wands. No, Ten of Swords this time. All right. Ooh, there's quite a few cards here. <laughs> you have the Ten of Swords. Um, whatever the situation is, it's hurting you to your core. It's really painful for you to have to be able to go through this. Unfortunately... Um, in, in Twin Flame Journey or any type of soul connection, there are going to be lessons to be learned that are very, very difficult to go through sometimes, but they are fated. They're, desti they're destined to happen, and they're meant to happen. There's always a lesson in there, which is interesting, Divine Masculine. You just had the Ten of Wands. We'll check at the bottom of the deck in a minute. Now you've got the Ten of Swords. There's a lot of endings here, and now you have the Ten of Cups. Um, wow. Okay. Um... Interestingly enough, I, I, the Ten of Cups is emotional fulfillment, but because of what you're going through, you cannot have emotional fulfillment, especially with the Ten of um, the Ten of Wands and now the Ten of Swords next to it. <clears throat> you can have this, but you need to work through some uh, uh, heavy emotions and heavy thoughts that are going through you. Here's the Four of Swords again. Remember, that where's the one with the nest? There's your four of swords up here curling up in the nest. Well, here's the four of swords in a different deck. And the person is, there's a heartbreak going on here. Something is breaking your heart. It, in, you're not maybe necessarily seeing it that way, but it's breaking your heart. And this is the truth. You need to be honest with yourself and about the situation. Now, this four of swords is taking a time out to just kind of recharge and re, regather his thoughts to figure out his next step of action. But when the time comes, he's ready to roll. He's got his hands near that sword, near the truth. So when you come to that realization, that truth, you're going to jump into action and go, that's that's what I need to do. This is what I need to do. Page of Wands. Did we have the Page of Wands in here somewhere? Page of Wands. I thought we did. I could have sworn. 
Page of Pentacles. Okay, well, anyways, Page of Wands. Uh, again, communication. Wanting to communicate. Thinking about communicating. There's the Knight of Wands. So you're going from some immature energy, wanting to communicate. But it's it's almost like um, uh, the Page wants to. His, he has things that he wants to say, and he wants to move forward and say it, but he doesn't know how. The Knight of Wands, however, though, is the next step up. A little more mature. So this is like the teenager. This was the teenager you, the immature energy. And now you're maturing. You're realizing, okay, I'm going to... And look, you've mastered yourself for the situation. I'm going to move forward. Sometimes the Knight of Wands, though, can move a little too fast. I call it the Fast and Furious card. That you really need to think about the situation before you act. Okay? But the Knight of Wands wants to move forward. So once you gain some clarity and a little more maturity about this, and that's not a bad thing because it's just something you needed to work through. That's what I mean by immature mature. It's when you learn lessons, then you can move forward, and you've gained some maturity there, which is all part of life. So that's not a dig. We all go through that. Even older, we still go through those things. It doesn't matter how old you are. All right, let's get a Sacred Destiny card to get you a little more guidance on your path here. What message do you have for our Divine Masculines, please, spirits? What do you have? Okay. So I tried to do this video on Sunday, and I just have too much on my phone, and it wouldn't upload because there was just not enough room. So I'm having to do this separate to ensure that you each get your own reading. <laughs> the information. I feel bad because it was supposed to come out on Friday. So my schedule is a little wonky right now, and... I got to figure out. I was doing fine. Then that video that didn't upload, all of a sudden my phone, I don't know if it's stuck on the phone somewhere and I can't find it. You know, because all of a sudden all the space has been taken up. And I'm trying to figure out where. All right, this is the one that wants to come out, so I'm taking it out. Trust. Trust in the process. You have to have trust in yourself and in the process. And in your the twin flame connection. The twin flame. Your twin will be there regardless. You're in a twin flame connection. There's no re reason to get all huffy and worry and whatever because you have that connection no matter what. When you are to come into union is when the universe will orchestrate that. When you both have learned your, your karmic lessons. Trust. Trust in yourself. Trust in the process. Forgiveness. Whatever it is that's happened in your life, forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. There may be something that... You're not particularly proud of? Well, forgive yourself. Everybody makes mistakes, right? We're also going to get a Sacred Travel or Oracle card. So that was Sacred Destiny. Sacred Travel or Oracle card. To kind of help you on your journey. This is kind of like your destiny. Right now, your destiny is to have trust in the process. Trust in yourself that you can get through this. And trust in the Twin Flame journey. That everything will work out for the best. The way it's meant to be when it's meant to be. You know, this is where you're meant to be right now. This is the path that you're on. And, um, and it's, you need to start forgiving yourself. You know, don't be so hard on yourself. All right. What do we have here? Fogged in. Go slow and take time. You're fogged in. Sorry. A little blurry. Go slow and take your time. You're a little foggy trying to make a decision. It's not clear to you right now. But once you work through that, look at this. Gates of triumph from the bottom of the deck. Success expands in your life. It's almost like this is you in your little nest or in your little cave dealing with yourself. But when the time comes, and you'll know, you'll work through it. Spirit will move you forward and say, now, now is the time. And you'll come out to, through the gates of triumph. And it's going to be a, still a journey, but it's, you're going towards the light. You're going towards the light. Beautiful, beautiful divine masculine. All right. That is what I have for you. I hope this was helpful for you, and uh, if it resonated and was helpful, and you like Twin Flame readings, uh, Divine Masculine or Divine Feminines, smash that like button. Give me a thumbs up, please, so I know. I appreciate the feedback very, very much. And, and I encourage you to subscribe and join the tribe. Um, I do these Twin Flame readings regularly, like I said, weekly, usually. And I'm going to be doing Zodiac monthly, overall month readings, each individual Zodiac. And then every two weeks, beginning of the month and mid-month, I do love readings. So you may be able to get more information in there. Who knows? And I will be doing a moon reading. I do moon readings. We have a new moon on, I believe, Wednesday. Uh, so check those out if you hit the bell icon button. You never know when a, uh, when a uh, video comes up. There may be a message in there for you. And you can click on it and watch it and go, hey, whoa, that was meant for me. <clears throat> I've had, excuse me, I've had that happen to me. 
and comment. I would love to hear from you down in the comment section. You know, let me know how your twin flame journey is going or if this resonated or whatever. Or if you'd like more of these. Um, feedback is always, always appreciated. And share if you would be so inclined to do. Share it with other people. Get the message out to everyone else. Maybe you can help someone in the process. Okay, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate every single one of you tuning in. Subscribers and even those who aren't subscribed. Um, you can check out my channel if you want. I have playlists. I'm on Facebook and Instagram if you want to follow me there. I will be doing live streams there at some point, very soon. So please join me. Please join me and hit that bell icon button. Subscribe and join the tribe, you know? Hop on the train and let's ride this on this journey together, okay? Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. Love you, love you, love you. Peace out.